Hello guys, this is Bek Murat and welcome to our tutorial on Fusion 360. As you remember, we are currently working on a disc break and um, we've so far done two episodes and on today's episode we'll be adding some internal features, the pipes outside the uh, component as well as uh, fillets across the body. Okay? Okay, so as we continue with our model uh, we need to create some internal features uh, within the object. Uh, so the first step is to capture a reference plane where the sketch will take place. Um, okay, so the YZ um, plane, which is this one, it's currently positioned along the center, so we can use that plane to do our sketching. Uh, however, let's not do the sketching yet. Uh, let's initially go to inspect and section analysis. Click on the plane, and this is what we get. And then click OK. Once we do the section analysis, we, do, we can continue with the sketch. Just our view. Uh, we expect a um, hole or cavity inside the model where the fluids will flow. Uh, the shape of the cavity is rectangular and uh, dimensions are 10 and um, 5 millimeters. Dimension from the top of the rectangle to the top of the model is 30 to 45. Okay, so our distance along the x, sorry, z axis, which is yeah, along z axis, is one millimeters from this edge, which is. No, our model is fully constrained. Then we just mirror it against our um, the plane that we've created. But I think we can do it later. First, let's for, let's extrude through our model. Finish the sketch. Select uh, hide the origin. Select the rectangle and apply symmetry direction. And pull it through the body until it comes to here. So approximately thirty millimeters, and it will it cuts through the other side of the object. Let's disable the analysis. As you can see, it cuts through the other side. Then click Operation is cut. And click OK. As we move further, we need to enable our reference plane. Then come back here. Select Mirror Function change type to features our object is this the hole we just created the mirror plane is the, is the one in the middle and click OK hide the mirror and we have another hole here we do the same for other um, cavities. First of all, we need to get the axes of this cylinder. So let's go to construct, axis through cylinder, select on the cylinder, and we get the axis. Then go back to construct, 
oh yeah plane out angle select the axis and this is what we get change the degree to 90 okay same as before we do sectional analysis select the reference plane go to inspect section analysis click ok oh I think I've hidden the analysis here so let's enable it we have we do the sketching again this time we apply a circular shape distance from the bottom of the object so let's just click P okay. I've, I've just done the projection of this area so I could capture this edge now we do dimensioning from the bottom to the center of the circle which is 40 0.28 and um, distance along the z axis from this edge 7 millimeters. Diameter of the circle is 6 millimeters. Finish the sketch. Enable our object again and extrude through the body. Select extrude, select the let's just hide this first. Select the circle, bring back the body. So the extrusion or cutting will be in two sides along two sides. First we extrude all the way to open area which is about 20 millimeters and same applies to the other side. Okay. Then we just capture this uh, body or feature and mirror it um, with respect to the middle. So if we return the origin, so we use this as a reference plane. Create mirror features is here. Object is the hole in the mirror. Is this? Click OK. We've got this hole again. And let's do one more mirroring function. So let's return our cons initial construction plane. Go to create, mirror, select the mirror, the last mirror feature as well as the extrude feature. Mirror plane is here. There you go. You got these holes. Okay, so the next step is to uh, model the uh, piping system that extends outside the body or the model. Uh, so initially we capture these axes. Go to um, construct axis to slender. Let's capture this axis and then capture these axes as well. Go to construct and uh, plane through two edges. Okay, once we have our plane, we'll click OK and sketch. Adjust our view to the top, and we just need a line like 
like this. This is horizontal, this one is vertical, and this one is horizontal. Ensure that this line aligns with the axis we created, so collinear. Same applies to the line above, collinear constraint. And we need to extend this line all the way to the model. Make sure it's inside the model. Same applies to this. And we need to constrain this line now. 6.2 from the edge of the body. So this extends inside. 6.2. We apply a fillet between these two lines, which is 4 millimeters. Fill it here as well, 4 millimeters. Finish sketch. So once we have, once we uh, turn these lines into con construction line, the next step to sketch, go to sketch and select the reference plane. Um, make sure we project this line that we've created initially. So go and press P then select the line, then click OK. So the projection turns this line into a point. For now, we'll just hide the sketch, our earlier sketch, and we draw a circle with a diameter of nine millimeters. Then we do an offset of negative one inside. Currently, the circle is free to move around. Uh, we apply a constraint by selecting coincident center of the circle then the point we generated and the circle changes from purple to black color meaning it is fully constrained then we just finish the sketch okay next step is to do a loft so we are uh, not not loft sorry uh, we do sweep. So select sweep and then select the outer pattern and path is the reference line we've created. Operation is joint. Click OK. And this is the external pipe that we need. So we don't need this uh, this circle. We just select on the surface and press delete. So the cavity had been removed, but the other cavities remain as before. Okay guys, just to continue with our modeling, the next step is to create a feature that is um, positions along this along this area. So to start, we select offset plane and offset against the surface by three point. Let me just open this up. Three point oh six. We sketch on this um, plane. Adjust our view to left, then project this circle onto our plane and offset by one and negative one millimeters. Turn it into a reference, reference plane. Finish the sketch, do the same again. So 
offset against the surface by negative 6.973 millimeters sketch on this plane the diameter of the circle we sketch is 10.5 millimeters then select the function loft select these surfaces click OK extrude this surface by 3 millimeters and sketch we don't need to sketch here anything we just project in our initial sketch so go to sketches and make our initial sketch visible just this so we have this circle and this circle sorry this circle and this circle and we project it to our surface click OK finish the sketch then extrude this pattern all the way towards the object then select OK now we just need to cr uh, create a hole again extrude through the body operation cut and click OK this is what we have currently hide the sketch ok so the next uh, step is um, to add the bolts. The bolts will be added for illustration purposes only, so without any threads or any holes. So we select the surface and uh, create sketch. On the sketch we project these circles. Click P, project. Okay. We turn all these circles onto construction construction line. Press X. So the next step is to draw a circle bigger in diameter. This one is twelve. circles are equal in size finish the sketch then we extrude all these circles by 5 millimeters operation join Then we draw the slot for the Allen key. Same as before, go to offset plane, select the surface, click OK, sketch plane, and go to create, then select poly polygon. So these two points are aligned along the vertical line and distance between these vertical points is 7 millimeters. Same applies to this. Just get 
created this circle. Let's try again. Let's repeat that again. Polygon. Again, okay, I select all the profiles that we've just generated. Okay, I just need to turn this into a construction line. So let's go back to our sketch, edit sketch, select the circle and press X. Again, select the polygon profiles. Press E and minus 4. Okay, now we apply fillets. Press F and select all the edges. Size of the fillet is 1.5 millimeters. Same applies internally. And some more fillets here as well. So what I did is um, I pressed F, then selected the surface, it selects everything else that is um, joined together, and assign a fillet radius of 1.5 mil, and press Enter. Okay, now. Our part is complete. Let me just add fillets here as well. One point five. Done. So the first component of our disc break is complete now. Um, in our next series, we'll be looking into uh, brake pads, how we design them as well as uh, the, uh, the actual disk. And we'll take all these components and we'll bring them together. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. I shall see you later.